We are unspinning the political headlines with our analyst, Scott Ross, executive director of One Wisconsin Now, tanned and back from vacation, and Bill McCaution, <laughs> managing partner of Capital Consultants. Okay, we're going to get serious, talk more about the Oscar Mayer closure. Do you believe that this is just a corporate decision, as Governor Walker said, or does this have anything to do with Wisconsin's business culture? Why didn't they consider staying? You want to first I'll start it? Tan rested and ready. Yeah, I will definitely start this one. Um, we've seen four different companies over the last 72 hours announce 1,300 families are going to be upended by job loss. Scott Walker created the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation to streamline the process, to create jobs, to retain jobs. Spent a billion dollars. 600 million of that went to his campaign donors, and we find out today he can't even pick up the phone for a thousand-person employer here in the city of Madison. Uh, can't even pick up the phone once they merge to try and do something to make sure these jobs stay here. So you're saying the governor never spoke with Kraft Heinz? Never talked with, Kra with Kraft Heinz yes. since the merger was announced in March. Okay, well that's the myth. Here are the facts. Uh, nobody from Kraft or Oscar Mayer spoke to the city, the county, or the state during this process. And as a former Secretary of Commerce for the state of Wisconsin, that's pretty unusual. Normally a company would at least kick the tires with the incumbent state and locality uh, to find out what incentives were potentially available, which means the incentives had nothing to do with this. There's something Oscar Mayer hasn't said yet about this deal as to why they moved to Iowa, but it's a wake-up call for Madison, no question about it. Do I mean, you, I, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I just want to know, Bill, so do you think then that anything could have been done or should have been no, done differently? No, I don't. Or they would have at least checked with the state of Wisconsin and the city and the county to see what kind of package they could put together, and they never did. Iowa said they aggressively reached out. They offered $14 million in incentives. New York, $20 million incentives. We put out $190,000 in 2013 that was apparently turned down before Kraft Heinz even existed. I think this is an utter and complete failure of Governor Walker's administration, the incompetence of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. And I think it's also because instead of doing his job, Governor Walker spent the last year campaigning around the country More to, to the point, we, being the president. You, you got to ask, what is the economic development strategy in Madison and Dane County? I mean, mm -hmm. truthfully, Scott, what is it for manufacturing? I mean, these are serious paying middle class jobs that are now gone a thousand people and our you know obviously our hearts and prayers are, are going out to those families tonight but this is a failure locally oh i mean listen we've seen 1300 jobs be lost for two of the anchors of the wisconsin economy essie johnson and oscar and oscar meyer this cannot be blamed on dane county it can't be blamed on the city of mass and certainly can't be Second blamed on your company that's Buffett. left here this Juna is mutual about moved walker's, to iowa just a few this years is about back governor walker's incompetence and his inability to do his job and that the wisconsin economic this development corporation madison should be the failure. easiest place in the country to grow jobs no question about it and for whatever reason, they're still losing them. So it's time for a strategy. You think that there's something that we're missing that we don't know Absolutely. about why this decision went yeah. down? Well, I think the Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce had today said this is, is there are real problems with this going on. The Conservative Taxpayers Alliance said we're at the bottom of the Midwest in terms of new jobs and of economic development. I mean, these are people who are on Governor Walker's side saying that things aren't working. I can't believe that we can, that we're going to try and blame this. And, you know, Dane County doesn't even have an economic development system under state law to be able to award contracts like, like WEDIC does. You know, they spent a billion dollars. They couldn't even pick up a phone and call Kraft Heinz after the merger. All right. Well, hopefully there will be some good news to come out of this. And, of course, if we get any more details about what went on behind the scenes in terms of making that decision, we'll let you know. Gentlemen, thank you so much for a spirited discussion. We appreciate it. And we'll see you right after this for a full check of the forecast.